Hello everyone, Rusty here. In this short tutorial, we're gonna guide you through how to successfully program virtual robots within UCode. We're also gonna plug in a machine learning data set to help navigate our robot through a maze. Let's get started. On this pop-up navigation screen, let's go ahead and click the UKIT advanced tile. This will bring up our model center as well as our virtual robot environment. Go ahead and select virtual robots. You'll see we have six different virtual environments to choose from. For this example, we're going to utilize the maze control, but feel free to explore and see some of the other virtual environments. Select start programming. First, a couple notes. When navigating the virtual environments, I always recommend utilizing a mouse. This helps a lot in steering around and altering your view of the environment. The first thing you'll note within this environment is we have a sample code. You'll note that if I hit the up arrow on my keyboard, it's going to first turn on those LED eyes as well as turn on my wheel mode servos. This will create my servos to function and move the vehicle forward. The same functions happen when I hit the left, right, and down arrows. This means that I can basically control this trolley navigating through this maze with my keyboard. Uh, minimize uh, the coding space. Make sure you're comfortable. The camera will rotate with you as you navigate through the course. You can always stop during and reposition. But when you're ready, head and hit that green run button. You'll see the timer starts and I can start navigating through the maze. And here's my first turn. So I'll hit that left button. You'll see that the trolley starts steering. We're going to navigate our trolley through this maze using a machine learning model. So first, let's go ahead and select our machine learning drawer. And we're going to go ahead and drag our load machine learning model until complete lock. Again, we want to separate our different sequences. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull another when flag is clicked lock and snap those together. And I actually created my own model prior to utilizing prior to this session. So again, if you need directions on how to create a machine learning model, please see the previous video. But go ahead and select directions. I can go ahead and test this model by opening my camera window. And you'll see I actually utilize these different uh, cards that you can see here. I put on skewers uh, that will help navigate uh, my trolley through the maze. So I have one that says go straight, one. That will turn right. And you'll see my models are pretty um, uh, confident. One that will turn left. And then I also have a stop or reverse um, a card here. Now, when, if you do something similar to this, you'll see I have four different data sets that it's all referencing at the same time. I do recommend utilizing a classmate because we're dealing with a lot of different you know, cards here and it may be kind of confusing to show the specific cards and go through four different data sets at the same time. So first grab the detection results for model for real-time video. And we're going to select a couple of things here. So first we're going to utilize the detection results for the model directions. This is the model that I made. From there, we're going to actually select a specific class or data set. So for this, this particular block, we're going to select go straight. So remember, 
no straight would be this particular card I have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this or insert this into the space, uh, replacing the when the up arrow is pressed. So let's go ahead and minimize our coding space here. So I'm gonna hit run the code. We'll see if I move it, it should stop or slow down. There we go. Great. So our first test was a success. So now what I would do, reset the maze, and you can start replacing and utilizing these different data sets to make your trolley move in different ways throughout the maze. So once you have inserted your data set, switching out those sensing blocks with your machine learning blocks, you should be able to navigate the entire maze relying on your machine learning model. This is a quick demonstration showing how you can utilize your machine learning models within the virtual environments within Ucode. Feel free to explore and have fun and create your own.